Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Amun Shaktivel. And in this video, we are going to see what is a merge conflict, when this merge conflict will occur, and how we can easily resolve this with the help of IntelliJ, right? So this is going to be the entire video. Without wasting much time, uh, let's see the definition of merge conflict, right? Uh, merge conflict happens when you try to merge a code uh, between two branches that have competing commits, which means, uh, two developers at the same time trying to alter the same code, okay? So Git get, gets confused which one to use, right? And this is what conflict is. In, in this time, Git needs some developer's help to basically identify which piece of final code it has to take, right? Somebody has to do uh, the con merge conflict resolving manually. This is normally a time-consuming task in real time. Most developers will run away if they know there is a merge conflict, right? That's the that's problem with merge conflict. But uh, in most of the occasion, Git can automatically merge your code. Uh, I will try to demonstrate how merge conflict can happen. And this problem can be easily resolved if you are using IntelliJ. Resolving merge conflicts can be a nightmare if you just use CLI. Again, you can do it. I'm not saying you cannot do it, but it's going to be very difficult. Using IntelliJ is going to be very, very simple. So first, let's try to mimic uh, merge conflict, right? Uh, so again, this is the project that we are working with. And, uh, you know, uh, what I can do is, uh, you know, let's say uh, I'll try to edit this file one, right? So that we'll try to mimic the merge conflict. We'll first make it to happen. Let's go here. Uh, you know, I am in my local branch, okay? Uh, master branch. So what I do, I take a latest pull first. Uh, so that you know i i have all the rec recent changes yes so it is updated now what i can do is i can create uh, there is a new feature that my manager asked me to work with so what i'm basically going to do is i'm going to create a branch and this is called as amudan branch right so this i'm just naming it as amudan branch because you know this is my, my changes right uh, i go i see this there is a b c d e f and what i'm going to do is I'm just going to add X instead of A, I'm going to add X, right? So this is my change. Imagine uh, this is not going to be as simple in, in real world, but you know, we are trying to just mimic the merge conflict. Good. So by the meantime, all right, in the meantime, there is another developer who picked this task and uh, you know, I cannot, you know, use another email. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to create a branch here uh, that is, let's say Sachin is the another developer who created a new branch called as master uh, you know sachin branch uh, from the bra source branch of master he created a new branch right and then he went on to this branch and he gone to this file1.txt and he is also making a change but he is using z right instead of x you know instead of a he is trying to do a change that is z and then he is trying to commit into the sachin branch so if you notice the sachin branch is now have is that B, C, D, E, F instead of A, B, C, D, E, F, right? If it is really small, maybe I can maximize this a bit, right? So once you go to the pull request, now in the meantime, he's also creating a pull request. Sachin is very smarter than Abu, and he is kind of creating code very fastly, right? Instead of A, B, C, D, E, F, the changes is it, right? So he creates a pull request and somebody approves this and then he quickly merges this code, right? So he created a, Pull request, he merged the code, he also deleted the branch, whatever, right? So now, if you notice, the master is now having uh, Z, B, C, D, E, F. But when the time you pulled, it is A, B, C, D, E, F, and you are trying to change it to X, B, C, D, E, F. Let's make a commit, uh, edited file one, it's committed, let's try to push it. And this is Amudan branch, it will create a new Amudan branch in remote. That's all right, let's push it. And when I try to create a pull request, right? Uh, so when I try to create a pull request, if you notice here, cannot automatically merge the changes from Mamudan branch to master. Uh, okay, I can still create a pull request, but I cannot merge it. So what is the problem, right? Let's try to create a pull request. So, so it will say you have a conflicting file. So there is a file called file1.txt where you need to con. Uh, so Git needs my attention to decide which one should be there, right? 
Amudan branch is telling it should be XBCDEF. Master branch is telling it should be ZBCDEF. Uh, what is the final change? I cannot predict. I'm not smart enough to predict this. So you have to help me here to decide which one is good. Right, again, you can resolve this here itself, but this is a very simple change and you can resolve this. But the problem is when the changes are really big, it is very hard. So what normally you can do is go to this particular branch, right? So now that Sachin, I've already pushed these changes to main. So if you take a pull of the latest code, uh, so I'm going to take a pull from the master branch, right? To my Amudan branch. So it basically it fetches and merges the code. So it's trying to merge and then it finds the same conflict, okay? So there is a file1.txt, uh, you modified this and also somebody else modified this, this is Sachin. Uh, okay, I want to merge it. So Git IntelliJ gives you a very uh, intelligent window here. So if you notice here, this is changes from Amazon branch, okay? This is the changes coming from master that is actually from Sachin branch, right? So you actually merge the code to master. So this is this, this is your branch and this is the final branch, okay? If you think this is the right, Thing, okay, you can accept the left. If you think this is the right thing, you can accept the right, which means changes from master. Okay, you really such in his code is correct, then you can merge, you can do just accept right. But in your case, let's say you want to have uh, both X, okay, you want to have both X and Z. So you can say like this, now this result will be taken into picture, right? So I do an apply, it says uh, apply changes and mark result, yes. I'm done with my changes. So if you notice, there is a commit that happened to resolve this conflict. And uh, now we can do a push to the same branch. So there is an already master branch. Um, what I did, I first initially, there are three commits here. One is file1.txt where I, I updated it. Okay. And then there is another one, the changes that I pulled from the, from the master. Then there is a resolving of this merge commit, right? So I, that happens and I, I solved this here. So all these three commits are here. I want to push this to the same branch. Now, if you if you just reload this, the conflict should be gone, right? If you notice this is a pull request and you no know, merge branch is done. So now it is saying you can merge your code. See, IntelliJ is very smart. It will help you to resolve this much easily. So I will now merge the code so that, you know, I can see in the file1.txt, I can see uh, X, Z, B, C, D, E, F. So this is how you can resolve merge conflicts with the help of IntelliJ. I hope you will find this video useful. If you find it, please do uh, like the video, share it with your friends uh, and keep supporting testing in US. Thank you guys. You have a good day. Bye.